But damn! Now we're gonna react to uh, Google Google Dolls Iris requested by Troy. Uh, but before that, like, subscribe, tell your mama to put on the notification bell. And remember, and Ash, your papa. yeah, and your papa too. That's the addition. It, remember, interrupt me whenever you want. Okay, so let's go. Okay. I've heard this. You've heard this too, huh? Yeah. Na -na -na -na. Huh? Better version than this one, but let's hear this one. Oh wait, is this oh, not the original? Is this yeah, this is the original. I've heard covers. Ah, that you think is better. For now, let's okay. hear it. Yeah. Okay. Just a few seconds. Okay. Alright. All right. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now And all I could taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life And sooner or later it's over I just don't want to Interesting. The whole song is yeah. pretty much the same uh, bass notes. Dun, dun, dun. But I will say they do it in a clever way because the verse and the chorus uh, are so different in the way he sings that it makes it feel like it's not the same um, chords or bass notes that is being played almost all throughout the song except for yeah. the yeah. bit. So what uh, you go, Ashram? What, what what are your thoughts on this I go song? First, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about this song. Okay, I want to ask you, what was the first? So you heard this song before, but when or from who did you hear this song? Radio, <laughs> unwillingly. Oh, you've heard this version. Yeah, yeah I think I've, so. I've never heard this version before. Oh, really? 
the version I listen to the most is by Chakra Khan. Ah, oh, Chakra Khan, the, the Indonesian yeah. or something uh, yeah. cover singer with a really hoarse voice. Like, horse. not horse, but you know. Let's say husky, man. Husky. <laughs> Have some respect. Good Lord. Horse. Horse, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a really nice voice, yeah. Yeah. And oh. uh, yeah, I've heard this version, uh, his version of this song. Listen, I appreciate the lyrics. I appreciate the the sound or the composition. I really do. Hmm. I just can't believe this performance. I don't know. It doesn't touch me. Oh, you don't buy it. It really doesn't. Now, with that being said, I'm 25. When this was? When was this? I think I would guess that this is from the early 2000s. I would exactly. guess. Exactly. So back then, let me check. People, when they heard this the first time, would disagree with me, and I would respect that. But uh, now. I can't. 1998, I actually. 1998, oh, I, actually. Oh. Yo, I was born. That was I was born in '98. So yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Uh, I'm a uneducated kid now. I can't feel this. I'm sorry. That's funny so, because you actually think a cover made by somebody else makes you feel better. feel it more. And the original that's funny man yeah. what's funny about that i mean usually the original of something i guess mm -hmm. this is the original right um um yeah yeah the original you, you know usually is unbeatable most of the times like most of the time do you know what i mean like the original always wins but uh yeah that's funny i i wouldn't need to hear that one to to know what you're talking about but uh uh, I've heard, I I sent it to you before on a stream. Did I, I react to it? it? Sure, why not? Yeah. No, did I react to it or? Yeah, you did. Uh huh. Shit. You liked it, yeah. yeah. You see, I I react to so much stuff. I don't even remember. So it. much. It but it's not normal. Brain, yeah. But it's not normal. Think about it. It isn't. This is not regular right? behavior. Let's right? make that clear. Yeah. To listen to so many stuff, it's not normal. Yeah. But uh, the song. Yeah. My final. Rate? Yeah, yeah. We're rating? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it like a for good lyricism, for good music in general. Yeah. Not so great performance or hitting me in the field so much, respectfully. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'll give it like a 5.2. Okay, 5.2. Yeah, for me, uh, me. Guys. Yeah. For me, this is like... Um, I don't know. This is like woman music a little bit, a little bit more to the woman. I know it's outrageous to say that, but Misogyny. it's okay. <laughs> you know, it tends. I mean, that's what it feels like, like more women type of music. But with that said, though, I, I, I you know, I'm not into this style of music, but it's still pretty catchy uh, and memorable and pretty well done. And uh, his vocals are not too bad. Yeah. What do you want to say? No, no. Give your huh? opinion, man. Yeah. Uh, so for for it being this kind of a acoustic, I don't know what you call this, acoustic rock or maybe rock. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a pretty good song for that genre. But I also see this as music that is played in, I don't know, Gilmore Girls or some drama series. It, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty catchy. And I, I think it's clever how they did it with the same bass notes and they, uh, they did variations with the vocal line, uh, to the extent that you don't really hear it. So that's clever. And that's uh, really good to do that with a simple thing, simple bass uh, note thing with, with the song. Uh, I will give it, uh, I'll give it a 6.2, but damn. 